Every year, thousands of beekeepers throughout America produce millions of pounds of honey. These beekeepers own and operate colonies of bees, starting with a single queen bee that can lay up to 2,000 eggs a day. Beginning in the spring, bees gather nectar and return to the hive, which can contain about 50 to 60,000 worker bees. Starting in late July, the beekeeper will begin to harvest or pull the honey from the hives. Smokers are used to drive the bees into the bottom section of the hive. This process is harmless to the bees, and only natural ingredients are burned to create the smoke. The boxes, which are called supers, are then put on a pallet, loaded into trucks, and transported to the honey house. At the honey house, the supers are unloaded and stored in the hot room, which is kept at a constant temperature of 100 degrees to decrease the viscosity of the honey, making it easier to remove from the comb. Each box from the hive is placed on a conveyor to remove the individual frames. From there, they enter the uncapping machine. Sharp blades rotate at a high speed to remove the wax cappings from the comb. Each frame is checked to make sure that all the caps have been removed before entering the extractor. A total of 128 frames are loaded into the honey extractor. During the rotation, which lasts about 12 minutes, honey is spun out of the comb to the outside of the extractor and pumped into a spin flow separator. The separator is simply used to remove any wax particles that are still present in the honey. As the separator spins at a high speed, the honey, which is heavier than wax, moves to the outer wall through centrifugal force. After a thorough cleaning, the empty supers are stored for the winter, while the bees are transported by truck to various southern states for wintering. The bees are also trucked to states such as California to assist in the pollination of many fruits and vegetables. Bees play an essential role in pollinating a wide variety of crops, including almonds, apples, cherries, blueberries, and melons. The extracted honey is stored in large 2,500-gallon tanks, holding 60,000 pounds of honey. Honey is poured into 55-gallon barrels or directly pumped into stainless steel semi-tankers. Once at the plant, the honey is pumped or poured into large melting and blending ovens. From there, it goes through a state-of-the-art packaging system leaving only pure, 100% natural honey. Job. Eloise, where do nuts come from? Trees. The nuts in my turkeys grow on trees. Eloise, we're out here in the, in the almond orchard. And here in California, we grow almost all of the world's almonds. Nuts are good for kids. Adults and little kids. So you just took off the hole, and this is the shell. I hear bees buzzing everywhere. I think we're gonna see some beehives here pretty soon. Before you go to open the beehive, you smoke the bees and it will calm them. Um, this nut orchard needs bees because if the Almond flowers don't get pollinated. The nut doesn't grow. Pollination is where the bees go in the flower, it eats the nectar, gathers the pollen, and it sticks to their legs. The tree's reward is it being pollinated, and the bee's reward is the nectar. One in three um, bites that we eat requires bees pollination. After the nuts are off the trees, they get processed. Then they go into my turkeys. 